you've been roaming the fireplace section of your local Walmart lately, you may have come across what we came across. The KFC fire log. <laughs> oh, it just smells like 11 herbs and spices. We decided we'd go ahead and pick one up and try one out so we could tell you how it is before you buy one because they're $14.99. And that's not something that I would want to just spend some money just in case on. We've also seen people trying to sell them for as much as $40 on Amazon and eBay because apparently they're a hot commodity this holiday season. Yeah, so if you're wondering what Jason and Abby have been doing as they shelter in place, we're wasting money on KFC <laughs> fire logs just for you. This is just like a Dura Flame style fire log that is said to be scented with the 11 herbs and spices. So we're gonna open it up and, and tell you whether we think it actually smells like the 11 herbs and spices. Oh my. <laughs> it's wrapped with the kernels face. So if you're getting ready to watch Mario Lopez on <laughs> Lifetime as Colonel Sanders and you really want to add to that, then this would be an item to have with you as you're watching. I think it's called like Recipe for Seduction or something along that line. Now I do have to say some, some things that are mentioned on the package here. This is made, by, uh, made for KFC by Envirolog. Uh, by the way, Earth Friendly Fire. Colonel Harlan Sanders, 11 Herbs and Spices Fire Log. Fried Chicken Scented Fire Log. There are a few disclaimers on the back. <laughs> fire Log made from 100% recycled wax cardboard, not actually fried chicken. <laughs> Caution, risk of fire and hunger. And then finally, enjoy the scent before burning. The smell escapes when lit. That one was a surprise to us. So the smell goes away once you light it, which I guess is a good thing if you want to get rid of the smell because you no. don't. No, <laughs> what is the point then? I if think... I'm going to buy the KFC <laughs> 11 Herbs and Spices Fire Log, I clearly want my entire house to smell like KFC. Well, here's the thing. It says you can use it in fireplaces, fireplace inserts, wood stoves, chimeneas, campfires. Chimeneas? Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce that. Campfires and fire pits. Now, I thought you just forgot how to say chimney. But I think the thing is, I think what you would want to use this for is open it, put it in your fireplace inside, let the, the smell linger until you're ready to have the fire. Then, the then you would have the fire, obviously. I don't know how effective it's going to be here outdoors. What I feel like we're missing, though, in all of this, and I, you know, we should have taken this a step further, is we should have put this up against a bucket of chicken. Now, to see how we, we should have. We should have. Now, here's the thing though. Normally, these types of fire logs you would just toss in the fire and you'd light the ends of, right? Well, this one, you've got to open it up in order to smell it. So let's look at the burning instructions, first of all. <laughs> Use any time for an extra crispy fire. Fully open fireplace damper, tear open seam to loosen wrapper, place one or two fire logs on grate. Seam up light ends of wrapper. I do want to show this though. The barcode is shaped like a bucket of chicken. Is that going to catch? I mean, they're finding every way they can to make a play on KFC here. All right, we're going to open up the wrapper. Oh, so we wait. can smell it. We got to show this too before you do it. So before we tear the wrapper, on either side where it says light here, it's shaped like a drumstick. Okay, just another, just another cute just little. Just another cute little touch. Just, just for the cute. KFC lover in your yeah. family. All right. Oh my God, that looks so gross. Well, it's like cardboard. I Chunks know, but of cardboard. all, all ideas of like KFC chicken. I mean, I guess if you open right. up a bucket of chicken, this is. This smells absolutely nothing like Kentucky Fried Chicken. It smells like, hold on. It smells like the cedar you put in a hamster cage. What, oh, don't, I, would, I don't want to touch. It's like just it, chunks of waxed cardboard. It literally, I feel like. Let's get this thing out here. If you can see, it's like, it's chunks of cardboard that have been. Oh. It really does smell like I'm at a pet store. I mean, I see to... like how they're kind of trying to go for it. No, I feel like I'm about to buy. This does like, not smell like a gerbil. KFC chicken. So, or because a... of that, I have no reason to 
feel like we should wait to start lighting it on fire. What were you gonna wait for? <laughs> like you wanted well, to for just the enjoy scent to the linger, aroma? to enjoy the oh. aroma, like the box said. No, light it up. Let's get it on the burn fire pit. The, burn this baby. It smells awful. It just, it's making my eyes water. It smells so bad. I can't even. It is not a pleasant smell. I mean, it's not no. like a terrible smell, I don't think, but it's not This a paper is also smell. not catching there we go. to the log. It's just burning. Even the fire doesn't want to get near it. This is, I don't like this. This just really doesn't make me want to go to KFC it, it feels, at all. It feels like natural recycling. Does but it? <laughs> I tell you, a bucket of KFC chicken. I would rather get a bucket of chicken. Sounds a lot better right now, and it's also cheaper. It's cheap. <laughs> you get that twenty dollars meal pack that comes right. with the bucket of chicken and three sides. You the whole know. family, twenty dollars. You know our boys love that. Fourteen ninety nine for a fire log. So we bought the KFC fire log, so you don't have to. You really don't have to. <laughs> Do we have to sit around this? Like it doesn't even. I don't even feel like I want to sit around the campfire. I don't understand why our kids didn't want to come out and join us for this. <laughs> like, I, I don't understand. I couldn't, I don't understand why they didn't want to get bundled up to come out in 25 degree weather and burn the log. Let's read some comments from our last video on Thor Industries $9 billion backlog. I've never been a part of this before. <laughs> it's my first time. I disagree. When the pandemic is over, there will be a lot of used RVs a few years later. I think that's probably right, but I think there's probably going to be lots of different things. I don't think prices are going to come down. I think there are going to be a lot of used RVs for sale, but people are going to buy them. While I would like a new RV, I'm glad I already have one. Thanks for the update. Love the disco outro. Thank you oh, very much. Oh, yeah. You know, there's a lot of controversy with your disco outro music, I've been noticing. <laughs> I'm surprised there aren't any hair comments yet. Are there any hair comments? <laughs> no. No hair comments that week? The sales rep for my factory ordered Lance 2375 in August now has an off-the-line production date of January 9th. I think some of those higher-end cool. manufacturers, you're going to get them a little bit sooner than the trailers that are much more mass-produced. Watch oh, out! Look. look, it's a bunch of sandhill cranes. Oh, I love sandhill cranes. They're beautiful. It's Canada geese. You mean Canadian? <laughs> In an industry that already had quality control issues, my fear is the unsuspecting first time new buyer is going to be in for a bumpy ride. Purchased our new Tab 400 just prior to the virus blow up. I had been at the dealer multiple times prior to that looking around and there was plenty of inventory. Went to the dealer last month for service and was told every new camp unit on the lot was spoken for. I picked a great time to get back to my roots while simultaneously getting away from it all. I bet those people who bought at the very beginning of the year, who bought at some of those early RV shows are just like, phew. Because the RV industry was having some problems at the beginning of this year. All right, that's it for this video. We'll see you on the next one. We'd stay here and burn this log with you, but this thing is gross. It's actually not burning very well either. No. So it says no. high, high, tall flames on the box. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>